Hello everyone, and it's been a long time since I've posted a video. So now I'm finally back with a brand new video. So today we'll be building a REST API using Bun and Elysia. So this is a request from one of my subscribers. So if you want to learn more about Bun and its related videos, then I have a playlist here in YouTube. Then you can go to Bun Crash Course 2023 by Pratap Sharma or Learn with Pratap. Then you can check this. So here in the previous videos, I have created a to-do app using Bun and also I've created a chat GPT clone using Bun and also added the JWT authentication using Bun.js. Okay. So in today's video, we'll be creating a REST API using Bun, Elysia and Prisma. Okay. So to get started, let's first install Bun. So installing Bun is pretty simple. You can simply copy this and then you can run in your terminal since Bun is already installed in my machine. So I can say Bun dash v so you can see i have the latest version of bun installed okay so the next thing what we need is we need alicia so you can see what alicia is so it's an agronomic framework for humans it is used to create a rest api using bun why should we use alicia because it is 20 times faster than express so let's copy this and let's create a new alicia app using bun so bun create Elysia. Let me rename it as bun Elysia Prisma. So you can see, so this is the command bun. So we're saying to create an Elysia project and this is the name of the folder. Okay. So let's do enter. Okay. So now we have created a new project using Elysia. So now go to our bun Elysia project. And now inside this, we can run bun run source index.ts, right? So now let's add our Prisma as a dev dependency so if, if you can see what is a prisma it, it's it is basically an orm object relation modeler so using this you can create models we can connect to our postgres etc right so this is prisma we can do quick start and then we can add our prisma as a dev dependency so let's do it pretty fast let's go back to our terminal then here what, what i can do is i can say bun add dash d prisma okay so when i say dash d it means that i'm adding prisma as a dev dependency so for simplicity let me open this project in a code editor so i can say code dot okay so here you can see when we initialize our project we have this source inside this source we have this index ts and then we have package json now we just added bun as a dev dependency so the next step would be to initialize our prisma let me open the integrated terminal here instead of switching the screen so now what i can do is i can initialize a prisma right so it's pretty simple to initialize our prisma so we can use our bun x so it is something like npx when we use npm so npx prisma init so when i run this command we'll see a few files related to prisma here so let me enter so yeah so you can see it created a couple of files and folder for us so we have this prisma and we have this dot env file right so here it has created a database url for us and also inside this prisma we have this schema dot prisma and all and it's reading the database url from the env okay and we are using this postgres right so the simplest way to run postgres would be by using docker so if you haven't installed docker so it's pretty simple go to docker desktop and you can install based on your machine right so once you have installed so let me go back to my code so rather than running from this terminal i want to run from this terminal okay so what you can do is let's create a docker image so i can say docker run dash dash name i can say dev postgres dash p so it should be in the default port so i can say 5432 let's map it to 5432 and i will say dash e and let's pass the environment so we can say postgres password postgres underscore password equal to one two three four five six seven eight dash d detach mode and we'll use the postgres image we can say okay oh sorry my docker desktop is not running so let me quickly run my docker desktop so this is the docker desktop so it's running now so let me rerun the command again so yes you can see we have the hash id so if i check my docker desktop and if i check the container you can see we have this dev postgres right so it's currently running on this particular port okay so now it's time to update our 
env file so here instead of random password i can use one two three four five six seven eight and instead of john Doe, i can use postgres okay so with this we have also set the database url and now let's go back to our prisma and then we need to create a model inside this prisma okay so since we are building a to-do application so let's create a model for to-do so i can say model and let me create a to-do okay and this to-do will basically have an id it will be of type integer and it will be of type id and it will be of default and this will be auto increment okay it's not double here should be single okay so we have the id and also let's have a title or a name of the to do we can say title and this will be of type string and we'll have content it will be of type string we can say db dot and then we'll have created add and a updated add so let's have created created add so the type will be date time and it will be default to now let me copy this and this will be updated add and let's not add a default here i can say updated add so okay so this is pretty simple right so i've created a model to do it will basically have an the id the title the content created and updated so when we talk about title it will be like make video rather than content i can say description so far we have created a model we have also initialized our database url so now it's time to create this model to a table right so it's time to create a table so creating a table it's pretty simple let's say bun x and let's use prisma and let's say migrate dev so we'll say create to do model okay so so it should be migrate okay so bun prisma so i'm using the migrate command and i'm doing in development mode and i'm providing the name of create to do model right so if i press enter so prisma will basically take this to do model and it will go to the migration now if you go and check our migration.sqls and you can see now we create a table called to do cool right so with all the properties what which we provided here so this is the benefit of using prisma so rather than writing all these files so once i write the models when i once i define these models here then i can simply use the migrate command to create the migration and all okay so after this since we have created the migration script now it's time to create a dummy content right so for that what we can do is let's create a folder here script i hope it is visible right so let me make it a bit bigger okay so now here let me create one folder so i'll say scripts and inside the scripts let's create a new file called seed.js okay so basically this file will be responsible for creating a dummy or default data right so let's write a script first of all we need to import our prisma import prisma client so since i'm writing in node i need to use a require so let me use prisma client so here i can use prisma client okay so let's create a new client so i can say const client equal to new prisma client okay so now let's create a dummy data so simply i will copy and paste the dummy data here rather than typing all those and i'll explain you one by one what exactly the file contains so you can see i've created a list of to do item it has a id title content and completed right so if you remember i think i changed the content to description so let me update the content so if you want to update all this content key so you can use command d or control d okay so now i can say description okay so here i've created one two they are pretty identical if this one the task one description for task one right so i've created 10 record for this so now i can use this list of rules to seed data into my database okay so now first of all let's create a function we can say const let's create seed function okay so this function will take a list of to do's and here let's loop through the to do's so i can say for let i equal to zero i less than to do dot length plus plus okay so now inside this for loop what i can do is i can i need to convert this to an async since i will be using the prisma client so i can say await then i can use client dot to do so we are getting this to do because we created the model using the prisma that's why i'm getting this to do so now i can say absurd so absurd basically means like updating if it exists it will update other, otherwise it will replace or create a new one so let's say absurd and here i can say where what should i absurd so let's give the id if the id is equal to 
to those of the current item dot id okay update if it exists then it will update to those of i otherwise it will create what it will create the current item i good so now we need to call this function so let's say seed let's pass our to do create list and let's say then if this success then i'll say console dot log data see that successfully and let's catch for error so in case of error we'll say console dot error and data seed failed for the particular reason okay and then finally let's close the client Line dot disconnect console dot log let's disconnect the client so i can say client okay so what we have done is like we have this function we pass the list of to do's we look through each of the to do's we upstarted like if it's there if it's present then we update it otherwise we create it right and here when we call this function with the list of to do's we want to create if it's success then we say data see that successfully if there's an error then we say data set failed in any of the case even if it's success or fail then we are disconnecting the client okay so this looks good so now it's time to add this script inside our package.json let's create a new section called prisma okay and then this will basically have a function called seed and when we run this command you basically want to use node scripts yes okay so basically what we say is we are using this prisma to seed our database right so when we run this command seed we'll use node scripts and then seed.js the file which we just created so let me create one more script here so i'll say seed and then here i can add banax prisma db seed so this will basically when i say bun seed it will basically run the prisma command to run this script okay so let's update the script so that it, it is running so i can say console.log seeding data now i can run the command i can say bun seed so we have an exception so it said the id is invalid oh sorry so i think i missed one thing i have this completed right here so i think i need to update my schema so here so let me use completed and it will be of type boolean and it will be default to it will be false right okay so let me run this migrate command again i go to migration okay it's working so let me run the seed command okay so now we have successfully seeded our data cool so with this like we've created our script we also seed our data to our database and now it's time to go to our source and then write our rest api okay so first of all let's create a couple of files so like folders so i can say db for our database let's create another folder called routes inside this routes let's create another folder called to do's okay so inside our db folder let's create an index.ts okay so let's create a prisma client so i can say import prisma client from prisma client so i can say const prisma equal to new prisma client and i can export default prisma okay so now let's go to our to do's and inside the to do's let's create a new file let's call it index.ts and let's create another file handler.ts okay so now let's understand what each file will do so index.ts will be responsible for creating the route and handler will be responsible for handling those routes okay so now let's quickly create route let's import elicia okay and let's create a to-do route so we can say const to do routes is equal to new elicia and then here i can pass the prefix so when i say prefix it will all the endpoint will start with to-dos okay and now i can start adding my endpoint so i can say dot get so when i say get it will give me all the list of to do's and let me add the handler for now let's just an error function so i can say all to do's let me simply copy this and add much more 
so we'll have get to do so we'll have post so this will be create to do okay and here i can pass an id so this will be get to do by id and this will be patch let's use the id again update to do by id and this will be delete let's use the id again we'll say delete to do okay so with this we have created few routes so one will be get slash which will be basically to get all the to do's slash post to create a to do and slash id which will be getting the to do by id when we call about patch patch will be used to update the to do and delete to delete the to do okay so now inside this handler let's create handler for each one of them and we'll use that in the next one so let's start with our first handler so we can say export async function get to do's okay so let me add first one i'll say i'll use try catch because there can be an error so in that case i can say console dot error error I'm getting to do and now inside this try i can use return await prisma dot to do dot find many so when i talk about find many it will give me all the list of to do's okay and i want to order by the created date order by created at async cool so with this let me also get to do by id okay and i'll create function is for each one of them and let's have create to do here create to do so here when we create a to do let's accept a data the data will be basically title of type string description of type string and now here i can say prisma dot to do dot create and now let me remove this code everything here and i can use data and inside this data i can pass my title and a description okay or basically i can simply use data cool because my data consists of a title and a description okay and instead of directly returning let me use const to do equal to and if not to do if it is not there then i can throw an exception throw new not found error error creating to do cool so this is for creating the to do and now let's add for the get to do by id so the id will be basically a number and now i can say find unique and inside this unique i can use where i can use id id will be basically the id or i can simply use id here okay otherwise we'll say error getting to do by id id and let's quickly add for our update and delete update to do and also let me quickly add another one this will be delete to do so when we want to delete to do by id we can simply use delete and here also i think we can use the same way uh, let me copy this let me replace this delete where id error deleting to do with id id oh sorry id okay so let me simply copy and paste it here and now let's update our to do so if you want to update our to do it should be pretty simple so here we will be taking we'll, we'll take an id it will be of type string and also we'll take an or it should be of type number number and also we'll be taking the data so the data will contain title of type string description of type string and also completed it will be of type boolean okay and this should be everything should be an optional field because when we talk about patch the item may be present or not right so the user may want to update just the title or just the description so here i can use the update so let me remove everything and i will use where first so let's compare the id and then i can use select i think it should be data so inside this data like instead of updating everything so i can only update for certain field right so i can update if the title is changed i can say if title has changed so let me destructure it so i can say const equal to data 
then i can take the title description and complete it okay now i can check if the title is there and then i will pass the title again same thing if description is there i can pass the description and if the completed is there i can check here if it is not undefined and completed it's not null in that case i can pass completed okay so basically i have this update to do here when i call this function i'm passing the id for which i want to update and i'm passing the data so in data i'm passing title description and completed and it is not everything is optional only if the data is present then in that case it will update so if the title is present then it will update the title if the description is present then it will update the description if the data of complete is present then it will update it right so when we use this structure if it present only it will go to this data cool so now we have completed our handler so i think it's time to go and use those handler so now when i say get slash so the time i want to say get to do's okay simple right so let's run our application so i can say bun or oh, before running this i think i need to update our router so let's test our get to do's i can say export default to do routes and let's go back to our index.ts so let's remove everything we really don't need this instead of app let's say to do app let me copy this app app okay and now i can say to do app dot group so let's create a group so when we talk about group we need to pass the endpoint so it will be slash api so which means that all my endpoints will start with slash api and it will give me a callback function it will give me an app so i can use app dot use to do routes and we want to listen so let's listen in port 3000 okay so basically we have created a to do app we have initialized a new Alicia instance using to do app and then inside this to do app we have grouped all the endpoints by using slash api and now whatever routes i have inside this to do routes all the routes will start with slash api for instance i have the prefix here right that means if i say slash api slash to do's slash so it will go to this get to do's okay so now let's run our application so to run our application we can simply use this dev command okay so i can say bun dev so it's running localhost so let's go back to the browser and we could say localhost 3000 so it says no phone because there is no slash so i'll say slash to do's slash so it still says not found let's try to understand why is that let's go back to our index.ts oh we have slash api right i forgot to add this slash api so it should be slash api slash to do's nice so now we have the list of to do's right so let's update our handlers all the handlers now so when we say post we want to create to do's right so let's say create create to do and here i need to pass the data so for this we need to grab the data from our route as a callback here so we can use here the body and now i can pass the body directly to my create to do but this will throw an exception because it says the body is of type unknown so now i need to define the type right so before we define the type let's update all the ids so here i can use params and here i can use id here also i can use params and inside this i can use id here also i can use params i can use id and now since i get the id so let me call the function for this one so it's get by id get to do by id I can pass the id here also it's update update to do so it will take id and also it will take the body so let me pass the body we'll fix the exception shortly and this will be delete to do and we'll pass the id okay so now it's time to fix the exception so it says that the type of body is unknown so now we, we need to define the type so to define the type we can use type definition from elicia so for that just after this handler use comma and then use this curly bracket so now when i use this curly bracket i can define the type of the body right so when i say body i need to import type definitions it will be basically t so now i can say the type of the body will be object also i can define the type of object it will have title which will be of basically a string i can say t dot string 
and then I will have description. This will be also a type of string. So I can say t dot string. So now you see how the exception disappears now. So the same way I can use here comma, I can use params, and here I can use t dot object, and here we'll have id. This will be your type basically of type numeric. So you see how the exception disappears. So let me copy this and let me add it here also and also here now i need to define for the body as well so let me use body it will be of type t dot object and the body will have basically so both of them will be optional so i can simply copy content from here let me add a comma here so this will have a title a description and also a completed right so this should be optional t dot string T dot string okay and also it should have a completed field let me copy simply this let me edit here yeah so with this we have also added the validation right so let me go back to my browser let me get to do by id one so i'll get the id if you want to test the endpoint so i think it's better to use postman so let me open the postman quickly so i've run my postman okay so let's simply create like let's test them right send i'm getting if i say delete so it's deleted and if i convert it to get again it should not be present there hmm, it's still present right it's not right when i say delete and i pass it says okay so it should have probably deleted right so let's check why it doesn't delete so i have this delete id delete to do it should have deleted oh yes it's not present there but why when i say one it's getting the to do oh it's not getting okay cool right so now if i want to create so it will be paused let me remove this let me go to the body let me go to the row and here i can have title test to do or it should be inside the code and i will have a description this is the description okay let me send so it's created let me go to get not sure if it is created or not let me go to post again so it should be created right so let's check our post endpoint again which will basically let's go to index.ts we have this post we have this slash i get the body we get to this create to do and here we're not returning the to do right return to do send it's created with the id one so let me change again test to test to do another another let's send again so it says to do the create constant failed with the on the field id so the problem is it's try to it's trying to create with the same id again so let's go to this create to do we have this title so in order to fix this i think i can delete all let me quickly add an endpoint to delete all let's use this delete many i don't think i need the id number okay so let me go back to my index.ts i can edit here Let me go back to my postman let me go to delete let me send oh it required the id delete all to do's it should be empty here oh yes it is because it's asking for the params i really don't need the params here so that's how the validation work right so yes all is deleted so now instead of delete so let me create new to do and let me remove the another another again that's it's working let's go to get it's working let's do by id again it's working okay so this is pretty simple so this is how we can create a rest api using one elysia and prisma and also we can use swagger documentation like when you swagger to list all our documentation so for that 
we can go to like the browser and we can say alicia swagger so this is the plugin so we should simply add this alicia swagger so let's go to our vs code we can save one add alicia swagger and then after that we can simply import this and then we can register it as a middleware so i can say so let me edit here i can say swagger and now here i can say to do app dot use and i can use swagger here okay so let me run the application again burn dev and if i go to my if i go back to the browser and if i say here instead of api if i say swagger ui or swagger so you can see we have the documentation so we have this to do's to do's we can also run the command from here we can say test request so we can test the request from here as well so when i say api get to do's so let me say send so you can see we have the list of to do here so we can test the api using the swagger as well okay so this is very simple this is just a basic application these are all the list of endpoints which we have just created and using bun elicia and prisma so these are the best combination we can use libraries and frameworks and always remember that elicia is 21 times faster than express right so go there and test all these frameworks so see you in the next one bye bye